What is going on, guys? It's been a long time here, man. I haven't had a video up in a couple weeks. Um, got very warm, as most of you guys know, and uh, most of our ice got pretty much destroyed. Um, there wasn't really anything fishable. Um, and then right after that big warm up, we got hit with like a polar vortex where most days were in uh, the negatives. Uh, double digits, so you know, negative 10 and lower, uh, which is ridiculous with like 20 degree or uh, 20 below zero fucking wind chills and stuff. So I wasn't out fishing. I love ice fishing, but I ain't gonna sit out there and freeze my ass off. I like the whole hop, so I keep moving the shanty wasn't really an option for me, so we didn't do that. And then I was working down in Milwaukee for a little bit. Um, but now I'm back and we're going ice fishing. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet for you. But uh, the goal is to get on some crappies and nice gills and harvest some because we just ate our last bag the other day. So that is the goal. I'm pulling into the old spot here. So I'll catch you guys out on the ice. Stay tuned. Walking away here. Got on two two schools of crappies and they weren't going for it. Then I kind of scanned around with the pan optics and they pretty much vacated the area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to walk about a hundred yards into this little I call it a secondary basin because it's a little basin off the main basin of the lake. Um, and I know there's some cribs towards where I'm going. So my plan is to work my way into this basin, see if I can locate big schools of fish. And when I'm saying big schools, I'm talking about, you know, 100, 150 plus. I'll probably walk about another 60 feet here, pop a hole, put the pan optics down, see what I see. The schools that I were find that I was finding were basically maybe five or six fish, maybe ten fish at the most. But they would I get on top of them, drop down, they come up, look at my bait, not hit it. So maybe that'll be the theme of the day. Who knows? All right, guys. Well, got the old panty optics working for me here. It says that there's a group of them this way. I scanned out into the main lake and. I only got a set for about 80 feet, but I didn't really see too much going on this way. I know I got some cribs kind of behind me here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go about 100 yards from where I am now, drill another hole, scan around, see if we can't find anything. Um, this bay is usually pretty damn good in the spring. Obviously I know it's not the spring, but they seem to like this little basin here. I'm gonna extend the view here. That's a good one too. That's a good crappie. Oh, whatever. oh, and he come off right there. God damn it. He found some. Finally found some. Hoping to get out of him before we lose him here. Got one on the ice. It's not super big. But um, they're down there, and they're aggressive, these ones are. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't be coming off. Don't be coming off. Don't be coming off. Oh, it's a gill. We're going to keep them. Well, the fishing's picking up a little bit where they are. There they are. Choo, choo, choo. We ended up with two. I'm on a keeping mission today, so we're gonna keep whatever we catch. I'm gonna scan around with the pan optics, see if we can't see some more. 
get on them. And that's the name of the game here. That's been extremely slow for as many fish as we've been marking. Okay, we have more about 70, 80 feet out. So I'm going to grab this, put it in the sled, grab our stuff, and we're gonna go push out there, see if we can get on some more. All right, guys, got one on the bottom here. It just moved about 70 feet from that last hole. come off again son of a bitch oh my god I got like five or six of them down there right now Stop on it. there we go oh my god come on baby come on come on come on come on that's a good one. There we go, son. Slabo. Oh yeah. There's more down there. There's more down there. All right, guys, well, I don't know what kind of video we're gonna end up with here. I mean, we still have light to fish, but the fishing has been extremely tough. I mean, I've probably drilled holes through most of the dang lake here. Oh, I got one coming up to me. There we go. Got two down there interested as I was talking to you. I seen them coming up. fish have been very finicky today. I mean, very, very finicky. It's crazy. Usually I come out here and if you at least drop into a school, you can get one or two to come up and bite. But I mean, I've been drilling all over, man. I mean, literally I drilled probably half the damn lake. Went through three batteries. I just don't want it, man. Some, some of them have been flying up and hitting it. But I mean, I'd say between, if I can call each spot getting on a school of fish, maybe every three or four schools I get on, I find one that has at least a couple active fish. I got four in the, four in the sled, but 
It's not saying much. They're down there, he just doesn't. Play, I guess we got some we got two up higher. Get these guys. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's coming up. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh yeah. Alright. Come on, baby. Get that thing. Come on. Come on, crappie, crappie, crappie. Oh, big crappie. Holy shit. Look at that, baby. All right. That's what we want. There we go. We just hitting it right. Come on, baby. Don't come off. Don't come off. Another one. Not super big. But we're keeping today. Whew. Using this little Wonder Bread color. I think they call these the half ants, I believe. They're down there though, man. I don't know what we're all gonna have for a video, but I'm gonna get you guys something. All right, dropping down. I got three down there right now in this hole. Super light. Oh, he come off right at the damn hole. Damn, that's a shame. That has happened with like four fish today. I'm kind of running a little smaller hook, so I don't know if that's why, but usually I've been having a pretty good uh, success rate here, but apparently not today. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Oh, and my damn jig broke off. <laughs> Look at that. My jig broke off right as I got the damn thing up here. Oh, another good one. Where the grease? Get this dang thing tied back on here because they're stacked up down there pretty good right now. bluegill not super huge but gonna let them go oh my god they're loaded down there I mean literally the whole entire screen is loaded crappie just sitting suspended he just went down to his level worked the bait he started moving up and if you've seen I just slowly started to work him up the water column he was literally just sitting about seven foot off the bottom just suspended I know there's more there's more in that hole over there there's another one right here I'm dropping down to him Alright guys, well, running out of light here, 
I just found another hole that had a good amount of fish in it. So, I'm gonna just drop down here, see what I can catch. But we're not gonna have much light to record here. Still a bunch on screen and when I dropped down they flew up to this thing so I'm pretty sure we can get into a mess of them here in this hole. Seems like when it got about six foot from the bottom they started flying up more. All right, guys, well, I tried for you. <laughs> um, I know the, the video quality probably isn't going to be the best. My damn GoPro died. And then um, Pan Optics died. And it kind of was weird. It, I was marking fish all day. I mean, I drilled holes all over the dang place. And I was marking fish um, pretty much the whole time. Sorry, my hands are cold, so I'm doing this deal here. But um, I was marking fish pretty much the whole time. I mean, I was bouncing around, going kind of from school to school, or schools would move on, and I'd and I just I couldn't really get on them. I mean, even if I could get on them, I couldn't get the damn things to bite and. It was about the last hour. Finally, I got into an area where it seemed like they were just kind of holding here. I mean, even if they were moving around, they weren't moving far. So I drilled about eight holes, kind of in a big circle. Some out further, some closer. You know, four, maybe 20, 30 feet away, and then 60, 70 feet away. And I would just go walk and hop until I put the deucer down in a hole that had fish, and I dropped down, and I'd catch one or two, and they'd... I don't know. It's, even if the fish stayed there, it's like if you catch one, they it would it scared them and they didn't want to bite. And then you'd leave and come back to that hole again, and they'd still be there. You drop down and catch one. And I don't know. It's a slower day. Usually I come out here and if I can get on them, I can really get on them. But I punch holes everywhere. I I put a pin on this spot. If I get off work early enough tomorrow, I'll probably come back out here. Come right here and start from here and go to where I was going to go today and uh, if the fish aren't here like they were today I'm going to work my way that way to see if I can find some more stuff you know just pop around with the pan optics and uh, I'll probably end this video uh, here I'm probably going to do a little uh, video on how to clean fish for people that maybe don't know but that's probably going to be a different video but um yeah, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys that uh, took the time to watch it. Sorry that it wasn't uh, cinema quality for you, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, sometimes when you get out fishing, man, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. But uh, you guys take it easy and uh, stay tuned for another video.